Eric wants to become the ultimate football champion. It all started after being inspired by watching Aisho 21, a show based off the Shonen Jump manga written by Rishiro Irungaki and illustrated by Yusuke Murata that follows the American football adventure to Senna. Only one problem. He sucks at real life football. Thankfully, Aisha21 has gotten a whole variety of video games over the years that even a low level, useless, no talent person like Eric can play to get the experience of being the ultimate football player. So, can I play every Aisha21 video game in order to become the ultimate football master? <laughs> oh yeah, my adorable mascot, Timmy the Taco? Let's freaking do this! The first game is Aisha21, Ami for you is say Haya on the PlayStation 2 by Konami. But will this game maybe go Haya? Run that motherfucking montage! <laughs> the game starts with our main character, Senna, getting bullied. But whoosh, we're quite speedy and try to escape from them. Only one problem there are quite a lot of people in our way. And they all seem dedicated in walking back and forth. How many pricks do I get? Zero! How many pricks do I still get? Zero! But will you give a frick about the tutorial? Thanks for a trusty cheerleader friend. We learned about how to do the running portion of the game, which is about dashing, juking, and smacking. Get out of the way, Grandma! You too, Grandma! Why are there so many Grandmas here? Oh, that actually makes sense. Hmm, stupid bullies. And speaking of so many people, one of the people there happened to be Humura, the captain of the American football team. And, well... He pretty much kidnaps us, threatens us at gunpoint, and forces us into joining the team under a secret alias high in our face with an eye shield in order to scare the other team to submission. Quite chaotic! But there's a game that goes way more in depth with the story we'll cover later. So for now, let's talk about the mother freaking gameplay! Firstly, the offense, starting with the passing, it's really gimmicky, but fun. You got a pointer you need to aim into a giant circle. The more you stay within the circle, the higher likely chance you have in successfully getting the pass. In a nutshell, you're pretty much just staring at someone for an uncomfortably long time before passing it. And speaking of uncomfortable, the passing is a bit uncomfortable and sensitive to control. But another part of the offense, defending the player, is a ton of fun. You pretty much just run up to someone, smack the heck up whatever Brandon says to spam, and boom! Look at him fly! And if you thought that was intense, there's also superpowers during the segment as well to watch out for. Causing this guy, for example, to wave his arms all quirky teenage girl-like, and BOOM! What a freaking explosion! What? No, no, no! And speaking of having a blast, the defense provides for a great time as well. You're constantly on your toes trying to block a pass or tackle people, and it's overall just a fun time and what do you expect from a football game. And hey, there are two-way splits game depending on what type of player you are. The first way is for the typical story mode, in which you're constantly thrown in different situations in a mission-like structure. Complete all the missions such as scoring a touchdown or intercepting a pass, and you can move on with your life. <laughs> Sure, it can't be that bad. I mean, it's just playing a harmless bow game. It starts with a coin toss and watching each team do a cheer. Ooh, what's my cheer? Ooh, ooh, so scary. Hmm? Then why? anime card game. Yes, another anime card game. Instead of what you typically expect from sports games like choosing from a set amount of plays, you have these cards which allows you for much more control in how you structure the game. Want to give your defense more strength because you want to run a play through the middle? You can do that. Unfortunately, for me personally, it's a motherfucking snooze fest. But if you are someone who is looking for a more strategy-oriented football game where it's 75% this and 25% this, it can make for a pretty amazing time. And hey, it offers some miscellaneous stuff like looking at the cards you collect and having descriptions of the characters well, which says pretty cool. But what a next game. But what a nice ISO 21 game. ISO 21 Purple Edition on the PSP by Winky Shop helped me catch a football. Throw that motherfucking montage. <laughs> Ok, 
stage, so this game is a lot different. This game involves you having a lot more focus on training and leveling up your characters and preparation for the games you're going to be playing, utilizing the schedule and picking those things you want to do to train the characters with. Ooh, Timmy, take notes. We could probably use some of these methods to help train me. Okay, let's skip that one. Why is there a giant triangle in the- <laughs> Have they not heard of hills? <laughs> okay, that's not even Lego! <laughs> I don't want to do this episode anymore. Motherfucking bombs? Someone's shooting machine guns at us while running? And don't get me started on whatever the heck this weird, uh, eye thingy is. Want to know what I think of this? Okay, in all fairness, the majority of these games are actually pretty fun and self-explanatory though. And I really love the fact that you can set the difficulty to how hard you would like these mini-games. And trust me, these mini-games will kick some motherfucking butt. Here's this one mini-game which you need to constantly spam the buttons in order to push these baddies. Simple enough, right? But man, I wish pushing these buttons as fast as possible, and look how much I'm gaining. But boom motherfucking plot twist. Right when I'm about to reach the go, they twist the buttons. <laughs> they twist the buttons, losing all my my progress! <laughs> this is the point where I usually do some cheesy button freshing montage, but no, my hands hurt. I refuse to follow this script. You see what he did to me, game? Look at me, look at his hands. Ugh, I would totally slap you right now if my hands didn't hurt. Anyway, moving on. If there's one thing I really don't like, is that while some of the minigames look really good for something on a handheld console, others, well, they look like motherfucking Flash minigames. I mean, what kind of form of entertainment combines 3D and 2D horribly? Yeah, what? Oh. And speaking of getting, hopefully after all this growing training, the game we get to play will be worth it. So yeah, let's see how this game goes. Boom, versus screen, coin flip, kickoff, yeah, height versus screen. This battle will be Fable! Uh, why are you offering me training mini games? Let me get it straight. Instead of running, doing passes, etc., use this stop to play, do a training mini game, and start to do so it's based on the play? Well, jolly gee. Might as well clean up my house during the play. Read a book. Get some tea. Maybe the tea I have will make me feel something in my heart again. I just. Why not let someone do a motherfucking workout during the middle of the game? I mean, like you said, minigames are solid, fun, sparkles, and rainbows. But my gut feeling tells me something is off about this. But would the next game, I show 21 Mass Devil Power by 8, need me just as off? It's time for another motherfucking montage. Yeah, remember the game I said that goes way more in depth in the ITO 21 story? Well, this is that game. To participate in the story, you move your character around this isometric world in which you need to swipe the stylus as fast as possible in order to move, and it's pretty fun. I could go on and on about examples of how fun this is. But there's 47 in-game days worth of stories, so let's start with week one. The first week pretty much just follows what you've already seen from the stories. We get bullied into a brilliation by the Hot Brothers. Yes, that's their name. You know what? No, no, I won't take us anymore, you Hot Brothers. Hot Brothers, ha brothers more like Hiya, brothers! Because I'm gonna smack the frick out ya! Huh? 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 And we're getting lunch for them. Which means just do a motherfucking mini game. That's right. Throughout the story are pretty simplistic mini games, such as running from one place to another within a time limit, swiping the tiles as fast as you can, and. <laughs> moving rocks.
How many picks should I give now? Zero! Okay, these minigames are actually a lot more fun than the seems, especially with the dash and dodge bucks you get. Plus, they aren't the main focus anyway, the side activities you do while focusing on the main story. And speaking of progressing, despite doing the epic game lunch with a bowling minigame, for the next couple of days, we... Well, we're still getting bullied. But wham, we join the American football team now. Still didn't change much. You fricked up now! Kurita, my new besties has joined the team. we we'll destroy ya! Huh? 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 <laughs> Kurita! That's not what they meant by killing him with kindness! Anyway, long story short, the Hot Brothers have joined the football team as well, and we stopped getting bullied for now. And yeah, the final days of this first week involved doing a bunch more practice mini games, such as sacking targets, running away from dogs, and recruiting more people by doing their mail chores for them. And it's all leads up to finally playing the game. <laughs> and controversial opinion, but I consider this game better than the Madden NFL series. This game is pretty much a combination of all the good parts between the previous two games. Starting with the offense, I really love the fact that not only can you choose between passing and running, but you can also choose which character to do it to, causing for more strategy. And it's not like you can choose the same overpowered character again and again. Trust me, I tried. And... well, see the help bar there? It gets depleted the more you use that character. Hey, screw that! I do you! But you won't be a joke with doing all the running and passing itself, as all you're doing is pretty much timing the buttons correctly. And man, unlike the previous game, this actually provides a great challenge. As the further you go, the more challenging and hard these timings become. This also includes another strategy as well. If the opposing team actually predicts the exact player you're using, well, let's just say things become a lot more hard much more quickly. And there's an increased chance of fumbling the ball as well, which about that. If you think timing buttons is hard, good luck trying to tap this. Come on! I can't catch a ball in the game or in real life. So, in a nutshell, don't be predictable. You know what? Not even mad. Well played. And you play well with doing defense as well, as it's just as fun. It pretty much includes all the same elements as offense, but instead of pressing buttons to dodge a player, you are shaking the stylus as fast as you can to decrease the time you are able to tackle the player with. Take this! Think of that. And you don't need to talk about anything else for this game, as everything else is simplistic and self-explanatory. You do a time swipe to do a field goal or kickoff, there are a whole variety of special moves ranging from having the power of cheerleaders cheering you on to causing you to perform better to... <laughs> crushing the opposing player. And all this is fun, simple, and has that anime flair you all know and love. And that in conclusion with the story just makes this a fun time. And speaking of the story, let's talk about week two. Honestly, nothing too notable here. You do a bunch of training, hear a bunch of rumors on who exactly this dreamboat that is the mysterious ISO 21 character, and wait, a motherfucking quiz about football? Only one problem, the quiz is about football. I'm the result of a video game viewer missed from the AnyTuber. So, in a nutshell, does it look like I know football? Yeah, one out of ten. I'm at least a five out of ten. Thank you very much. Okay, what do I do? What? You're right. We're teammates now. They're totally help a fellow teammate out. Dang it, and they might push this girl in this trash. Anyway, after countless trial and error, I couldn't still beat this quiz. What? Well, excuse me for being so predictable. Ah! And speaking of predictable, all of this train led to a game against the current American football champions, the Uju White Knights. Ooh, we're facing against the championship team already. Let's freaking do this. Ah! Week three. We kind of are threatening to get some more teammates. Yo, 
you'll get used to this after a while. But while we have no luck finding teammates by putting up posters, we actually make a pretty cool friend named Monta after accidentally throwing the football at him and surprisingly catching it. Hmm, lucky kid. Mm. We of course asked him to join a team, but he's set on his dreams of making a baseball team. Only one problem. Besides catching. <laughs> And man, it's hard on Manta, and hey, I can kind of feel him. I love trying new and exciting things. But man, when I can't do the exciting things I'm passionate about, it's frustrating. Hello, I'm trying to avoid a boring and repetitive lifestyle here. Let me just enjoy life to my fullest. Thankfully though, Manta keeps a positive attitude. And of course, just like with how Hermora kidnapped us and forced us to co-kit our true pretend show, he does the same with Manta by throwing a football randomly at him at high speed. And hey, he catches it, and boom, makes the motherfucking football team in. Find a new passion. Ah, Timmy, throw football as fast as you can to me. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> okay, maybe I am trash. And speaking of trash, now that Monta is on the team, we pretty much just replaced the entire catching board with Monta, making the old board useless. And what better way to destroy it by shooting guns at it? I can't tell whether they're making fun of America or not. But freak yeah! And speaking of guns, guess what we were threatened to do next? That's right, become a transfer student in another school to get information on the next team of beasting against the Jokugaku Chameleons. And, well, let's just say the school isn't exactly the safest, as it's filled with delinquents, graffiti, and someone who may or may not be a secretly a lizard. Well, I'm hoping to freak out here. Thankfully, after days of pretty much being bullied by a lizard guy over there, we defeat him in the game. Moving us on to week four. Lizard Brain finds out we are a spy and pretty much kidnaps and bullies us some more for an entire week before defeating his team again. Week five and six. We pretty much are doing the same thing like the fourth week, doing some training mini games, to avoid quizzes, and most importantly, spying on other teams like the Shinbu Wild Gunman and the Tayo Sphinx and defeating them in a challenging games. This all brings us to the final week of this game, chapter seven. And as you guessed, this week it's all about rematching the football champions, the Oju White Knights. And man, after stalking these guys for a week, they kind of scare me. Not only are these guys strong enough to break a vending machine, but unlike the other schools, they roam and numero their motherfucking floor signs. I would say it gives you a perch about the Roman numero thing. But there's no zero in Roman numero! But you will give a fuck about being these guys, because man, these guys were hard. But hey, I did it! And yeah, that's pretty much this game in a nutshell. You can face against the NASA aliens, another really hard team to beat, as well as replay the minigames in order to get coins to unlock new specials. But other than that, it's just a fun game to enjoy. And while it's unfortunately Japanese exclusive with no English translation, we can quickly translate this gem. But there is a guy by BonyKiddo7 that was really helpful in complaining this game. But with an S I show 21 game, I Show 21 Devil Rats Devil Days on the Game Boy Bands by Aiden be just as good. But a freaking montage time, Port Edition! Okay, so this game is pretty different and even more story heavy than the last game. But you could tell it was made by the same company as the last game because they pretty much just reused the sprites. And you'll be thinking about the choices you make in this game, as instead of following a linear story, the choices you do make greatly affect the outcome of the story. And between that and watered down mini games from the previous game, it really isn't a game I would recommend too much unless you absolutely must know what would happen if you reject joining the team in the first place because plot twist. <laughs> Too long. But will you give a freaking the final ICO 21 game? ICO 21 and a Wii by Aiden again? Five, 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 <laughs> Well, if you like the gameplay of the DS game and the story structure of the PS2 games, it's pretty much a combination of that. As you probably guessed, this game has a ton of motion controls. From swiping the Wii Remote to dodge plays, shaking the Wii Remote as fast as possible to show the defense who's boss, and even aiming the Wii Remote to show where you want to run. No, no, I don't want to get burned. Please, Wii Remote, stop leading me towards fire. No, ah, ah. 
and you won't get burned down from doing everything else from passing, kicking, choosing plays, specials, etc. Because it's pretty similar to the DS game. Simple and easy fun. Ooh, and speaking of the specials, there's one that's pretty hilarious. One special allows you to pretend like you don't have the ball anymore and be able to run past a player. And I mean, poor guy. I kind of feel bad for him. Look how distraught and confused he looks. Does he need a hug? I think he needs a hug. Someone give him a hug. No, not you! And yeah, with that, we completed every ISO 21 video game! Timmy! <laughs> Pass me football! What? I failed to catch? But that's impossible! I played every ISO 21 game! <clears throat> I should be able to catch a ball! Wait! <clears throat> wait! <laughs> wait! Repeat that! Catch a code? <clears throat> Catch a cold? I caught something! Yeah! But we'll catch the next episode of Eric Does Everything. Naruto on Places and Portable. Make sure you stay tuned for the next episode. And until next time, sign your motherfucker!